Off the tee here with Nota Begay, four-time PGA Tour winner, Golf Channel analyst, 59 Club, course designer, philanthropist. What more can I say? I'm one of your biggest fans, <laughs> by the way. Thank you. To all of you out there that think there's perks to this job, you're right. When we heard Nota Begay was holding golf clinics down at Auction Southern Dunes Golf Club, we canceled our plans and showed up early. Nota Begay is the only full-blooded Native American to have played on the PGA Tour. He's a four-time winner on the PGA Tour and the most decorated Native American golfer in history. When he's not playing golf or delivering color commentary on the Golf Channel, he dedicates his time to positively impacting the Native American community. Where do you see golf being such a helpful tool in Native communities across the whole country? Well, one of the biggest barriers to entry of the game is just access to facility. There's over 70 Native American-owned properties in the country, mm -hmm. and so if we can just encourage not only the tribal leadership, but also the parents and the kids to sort of just get out there and just get exposed to the game. It's one of the areas of growth where there's a huge opportunity in terms of just trying to get more participants involved in the game to sort of rejuvenate sort of a youth movement in this country around golf in the future. Nota's passion for introducing youngsters to the game at an early age is definitely tied to the story of his past. I picked up the game at a young age and just couldn't really afford it, to be quite honest. And a guy by the name of Don Zamora, PJ professional at Ladera Municipal Golf Course in Albuquerque, where I grew up, gave me a job. I was nine. Nine and years And I old. worked in exchange for playing privileges. And okay. by the time I was 17, was one of the top rated junior golfers in the country and had gained a full scholarship to play golf at Stanford University and uh, a career on the PGA Tour, which I'm very proud of. 59 club really quick. Just r run that through. I, like, I want to know what's going on on hole 17. <laughs> You know, you go in 59 watch, it, it was the first ever 59 shot in the history of the web.com, which is now the Corn Ferry Tour. I was two under through seven holes. And I birdie the eighth hole, I birdie the ninth hole, I eagle the 10th hole, I hold out from the fairway for a two, I birdie the par five 11th, and then I make a hole in one on my 12th hole. So in that. that section of, of just those five holes, I, I played him seven under. So I went from two under to nine under, just like that. And, and then from that point it was on. And standing over that final putt on the last hole of the round, is about a 10 footer for birdie. I said to myself, don't leave it short because nobody's gonna remember you tomorrow if I shoot 60. To most golf fans worldwide, it's common knowledge that Noda and Tiger Woods were college roommates at Stanford University and remain super close friends to this day. That had to have felt pretty cool for you when Tiger made that putt on 18 to win the Masters. How did that make you feel? I, I, I'm still right now I, I just completely astonished by what that man was capable of. To be able to pull off another Masters win was beyond everything that I could ever imagine. Two days after the Masters win, I, I texted Tiger and I said, yes, it really did happen. You actually did win the Masters. It wasn't just a dream. Right. And he goes, he goes, that's good. He goes, I was wondering what that green jacket was doing lying on my kitchen table. Um, <laughs> Where would the green jacket hang back at the pad in Stanford? <laughs> Who knows? We might have lost it for a couple days, just kind of like the Claret Jug with the Open Championship. It's got a story of its own. How would Tiger describe you as a roommate? <laughs> um, I was a tough roommate. I'm like his big brother. Okay. Um, I gave him the nickname Urkel. Uh, I made him carry our bags. I was a senior, he was a freshman, so I, I made him pay his dues and it's kept us closer. We, awesome. we talk about college. Tiger loved his time at Stanford. I think he wished he could have stayed for a couple more years, but he had about 50 million reasons to leave. And uh, I probably would have left too for a lot less. <laughs> <laughs> How often was the sock hanging on the doorknob? <laughs> um, not quite as much as it was after he left Stanford. <laughs> Oh, really appreciate it, man.